Hello! With the new semester starting, I wanted to make a video talking about skill development best practices. Skill development applies in all areas and aspects of your life. The first thing with any kind of skill development is that you need consistency. You wouldn't push all of your workouts off until the end of the week and try and cram them in on one day. You'd suffer muscle fatigue, your body would break down, and you would not be very successful. Consistency is going to be one of the things that's going to be your biggest friend in any kind of skill development endeavor. Do it regularly, do it often. And the next thing I want to talk about is osmosis. Osmosis is real. Not in the way that you may have heard about growing up, where if you fall asleep on a book, you'll suddenly learn the materials in your sleep. What it actually is, is it's giving your brain time to process information so you are able to make connections in ways that you otherwise couldn't. Making sure something's top of mind giving yourself enough time to rest on a subject so that the neural pathways can be developed and those connections can be made to help you better understand things. If you're just taking in more and more and more and more and more information, you're going to lose a lot of it. So that consistency, doing a little bit every day is much better than doing a big chunk at a time. A little bit every day to allow you to grow. Third thing is you need a study schedule. In the same way you wouldn't go to the gym just haphazardly uh, once in a week to maybe kind of figure things out. If you want to be successful, you need to do it regularly and with a plan. For most types of skill development that I teach, I recommend the following. First, your first day, you do what you need to in class, go home that evening, check some notes, just kind of review what you've covered and then sleep on it. What that's going to do is it's going to act as a primer to get you in that mode of, wow, here's this new information. I may not know it all yet, but I'm started on it. The second day, you review the materials again. You go through any additional readings and studying that you need to um, and start some of the practices and techniques in addition to that to help kind of cement what you got the day before. The third day, that's when you begin your assignments related to the information. You've had a couple of days to get primed for it, start digesting it, and then you start working through things. The fourth day, you finish up any assignments and you finish kind of wrapping up what you've learned about any tools or materials or skills that week. Now you've still got three days left. Here's what you do with those. This becomes your opportunity for mastery. Do a little bit with the skill set, but this time, do it on your own projects, in your own way, exploring the subject, but outside of whatever it is you just learned or that was built for you. As part of that, I want to talk about the fourth thing, fail hard. Play around a lot. Expect that you're going to have a lot of things go wrong and see what you can do. If you're not taking the time to play around with something that you're learning, you're not going to achieve true mastery. Anyway, hopefully those tips help you to be much more successful at school, but then also in your life with any other skill development you're trying to do. Hope you have fun. Bye.